Hi, and welcome to the seventh information session on Treasury and Cash Management. In this information session, we'll talk about solvency ratios. And um, solvency ratios are the most relevant ratios that uh, a treasurer would use uh, on daily basis sometimes. So we'll start by defining what what are solvency ratios. Solvency ratios are designed to measure the short-term viability of an organization. And uh, the first one that I'd like to talk about is the current ratio. The current ratio is basically the current assets divided by the current liabilities. If the result is more than one, then we have enough uh, current assets to cover the uh, current liabilities that are going to come due. So the, uh, if, it's, if it's more than one, then it's positive. If it's less than one, then that's a negative result and uh, some actions should be required. The second one is the asset test ratio and sometimes it's called the quick ratio which is used to find the ability to pay current liabilities from cash and near cash items uh, so the uh, ratio as you can see in the description of the of the uh, of the video is cash plus net receivables plus marketable securities divided by current liabilities so that would give us more accurate information in regards to, in terms of covering the current liabilities which come, which will come due soon. So uh, it basically eliminates inventory out of the equation because, like inventory, when it's sold on credit, then it becomes a receivable, and then it turns to be a cash. So it's eliminated. So again, if the uh, result of this division is more than one, then yes, we have enough quick cash or um, or the asset test ratio. Well, that's a positive result that we'll have quick cash to cover current liabilities. I have uh, also uh, left a web link on uh, Wikipedia to see other financial ratios uh, for you if you're interested, but I just chose the ones that are more relevant to uh, treasury management. So thank you very much for following up on the video, and we'll see you in the next video.